When we think of voiceovers, one of the first things that comes to mind is the cost. Let's be real, those professional plans for text-to-speech AI tools can really take a toll on your budget. And if you're just getting started with a faceless YouTube channel, you quickly realize that one of the biggest challenges is finding a voice that sounds natural and engaging. A voice with subtle pauses, genuine emotion, and that human-like warmth that keeps viewers hooked. But getting that quality often means digging deep into your pockets. Of course, YouTube isn't against using AI voices per se, but they're definitely not keen on those robotic, monotone voices that sound like, well, a machine. In the beginning, I tried Eleven Labs, which, to be fair, is incredibly impressive. The voices are so lifelike, but when I considered their pro plan, I had to pause. It was a bit beyond my budget at the time, and I couldn't quite afford it. So, like many new creators, I turned to free alternatives. I tried Clipchamp, and while it's decent, it just doesn't match the natural sound Eleven Labs offers. It felt like every option I tried had a trade-off, and to be honest, it was almost discouraging. I tested several other AI voices, but they just didn't have that genuine conversational flow I needed. It was frustrating because, as any new content creator knows, the voice is part of what keeps an audience engaged, and finding the right one seemed like a near impossible task. Then I stumbled upon something incredible, something that I didn't realize was sitting right under my nose. You know how we often look far and wide for solutions, only to find that the answer was right in front of us all along. That's exactly what happened. I found out that ChatGPT, the very tool we've been using every day, can actually create voiceovers. Yes, the same ChatGPT we're all so familiar with has voice capabilities, and it's truly game-changing for content creators like us. Imagine having a tool that's not only easily accessible, but also capable of producing high-quality, natural-sounding voiceovers. It's right there at our fingertips, and yet so many of us don't even realize it. So today, I'm going to walk you through how you can do voiceovers with ChatGPT. This discovery was like finding a hidden gem, and I can't wait to share it with you. So, if you're ready to save on costs without sacrificing quality, and want to learn how to turn your chat GPT into the voice of your faceless YouTube channel, stick around. The journey's about to get exciting. Here's a glimpse of what I was able to create using ChatGPT's voice capabilities. Let's dive in and make your voiceover dreams a reality without breaking the bank. Hey bro, do you know how much I love carrots? Grew up with them, you know? Thank God you have it now. Yeah, bro, love it. Been eating them for years and never get tired of it. Wow, so what am I going to eat? I'm hungry. Ha! <sighs> you can go outside. You'll find some. Ha! <sighs> but you are close to me. Can I eat you? No way. Ha! <sighs> so, the voice you just heard was created using ChatGPT. Yes, you heard me right. ChatGPT. I know many of us aren't aware that ChatGPT can actually be used to generate voiceovers. As I said in this video, most AI tools on text-to-speech and voiceover options are usually quite expensive, and many are looking for an affordable solution. If you are new to automation on YouTube, especially when dealing with a faceless YouTube channel, a good voiceover elevates your content. What I want to do today is walk you through how you can make a voiceover using ChatGPT. So, if I can create a voiceover, like the one you just heard, you can too. Follow along as we go through this together. First, to show that I have used ChatGPT for the voiceover of the video you just watched, I'm going to show you exactly how I generated the video. In this tutorial, we are not going to be talking about how to generate images, so we focus purely on the voiceover. If you want to learn about how to generate images and create an outstanding animation, there will be links in the description for you to watch how I do my viral AI animation videos for my faceless YouTube channel. As you can see, I have opened my software CapCut, and here you can see the images generated by ChatGPT. Also, you can see my short script for the rabbit and the lion respectively. I will open ChatGPT once again. Since the script is already copied, I will paste it in the text box and ask ChatGPT to rewrite it exactly as it is. As you will notice, it does the rewrite smoothly. Let me now play the audio so that we can hear what comes out of this. Hey bro, do you know how much I love carrots? Grew up with them, you know? Yeah bro, love it. Been eating them for years and never get tired of it. You can go outside, you'll find some. Ha ha! No way, ha ha! How amazing guys. Then, I would repeat those same steps for another script, this time specific to the character of the lion. Once I had pasted the text into ChatGPT, I would have it rewritten without changing the write-up in any way. Then we would listen to the result. Thank God you have it now. 
Yeah, bro, love it. Wow. So what am I going to eat? Well, what am I going to eat now? I'm hungry. Ha! Ah! But you are close to me. Can I eat you? Ha! Ah! This is cool, right? To add some variety, we're not using the same voice for both characters. I now change the voice for the lion by clicking the icon above here. Click on settings, and when you do, you will see several options like general personalization, speech, data control, builder profile, connected apps and security. But we shall be clicking on the speech menu, and when you do, you will see the voice, play and names. But to access the names, you will need to click the drop-down menu option, where we have several voices to choose from. Let us sample a few options until we get the correct one. Hi, glad to meet you. I think we're going to do great work together. Where should we start? Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? I'm really looking forward to working on some cool stuff together. Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. How can I jump in and help? Hi there, I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you and I can't wait to get started. So what's the game plan? Once chosen, I will use the new voice for the lion while keeping the original, previously heard voice of the rabbit character intact. So let us listen to the new voice before we move ahead to the next step. Thank God you have it now. Yeah, bro. Love it. Wow. So what am I going to eat? Well, what am I going to eat now? I'm hungry. <sighs> but you are close to me. Can I eat you? <sighs> now let me take you through recording and completing this setup. So guys, before we continue, I would like to advise you to join my membership by clicking the link in the description or clicking the join button. In there you have most of the comprehensive live tutorials I've done, from African folk tales, Bible stories and amazing videos on viral animation videos. Alright, to make things easy, let me give an example. I have asked ChatGPT to prepare the story of David and Goliath from the Bible, narrate the story of David and Goliath in the Bible. Make sure it is 250 words long. Click enter. Look, the script came out perfectly. Now let's read out the story. There's a read aloud button here, so let me click it. In ancient times, the Israelites and Philistines prepared for battle in the valley of Elah. The Philistine army boasted a fierce warrior named Goliath. Well, I don't like the default voice, so I am going to change it, just like I said earlier. Let me play it again and check. In ancient times, the Israelites and Philistines prepared for battle in the Valley of Elah. The Philistine army boasted a fierce warrior named Goliath. Now this is far better. I like this for the Bible story, but feel free to test the other voices in the speech option. Now, for this helpful tip, open up OBS Studio as you normally would to record any screen, hit record, and the voiceover starts playing. I am recording at the moment, and so I will click the read aloud button to capture the whole script. Here is where most people miss this thing. You may have felt you are good to go with the half-baked knowledge. No, watch till the end because I will be explaining the best way to do this perfectly well. I recorded one version without an earpiece connected into my laptop and one with it connected. My suggestion, have your earpiece connected to the laptop when recording the screen. This way, the audio plays directly through your headset and diminishes background noise. Once recorded, import the video on CapCut for editing. Here I go on CapCut, click Import and then drag it into the timeline. After that, I will right click to extract the audio out from the video. When done, delete the video and you will have your voiceover. Some tips might be to record in a quiet space with the window closed to reduce outside noise. In my recordings, the version with the earpiece was considerably better in terms of audio quality, but there was still some background noise. You can also clean up any remaining sounds using CapCut with the reduce noise feature, although it is not perfect. You can also go ahead to use the voice changer option in CapCut for further fine tuning of your voiceover. Also have an amazing free AI tool you could use to add more effect to your voiceover. It is called Audio Mass. Let's go to the browser, type in Audio Mass and click the link. So in here we can click the center here to upload the voiceover. If you click on the effect here, you will see several effects to add to your audio and you can find the option for noise reduction. And this works perfectly well. 
I do hope this video was helpful. Try it out and drop a comment after using this method to generate an outstanding voiceover.